Hi everyone, this is Stephanie with ESU 17 and I'm going to be making a bunch of different videos to help you with your science projects you're working on. This first video is kind of simple. Uh, before we start actually working on putting our videos together, we need to get them onto our computer. So, um, this video is just showing you how to get all of the files that you saved for your project in Google Drive onto your computer so that we can use them in iMovie in the next video I'll make. So to get them onto your computer, we need to go to the internet and get them. So go ahead and open up a web browser, and it doesn't matter which one you like, if you like Chrome or Safari, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use Firefox because that's my favorite one. Whichever one you use, go ahead to the address bar and type in google.com slash drive. Enter. Once you're at the Google Drive home screen, you're going to want to sign in with your VCS Badger account. So I'm going to click go to Google Drive. And then go ahead and enter in your email address and password for your Google account. Once you have your password filled in, go ahead and sign in. Once you're all signed in, all of the files that you've saved in your drive should appear. So now all we have to do is get them from here onto our computers. I don't have any cool science projects, so I'm going to use um, my one of my puppies and make a video on him for this as a demonstration. So I have all of my files put together, all the videos and pictures I'm going to use into this one folder called the Clarence Project. Um, you don't have to have your stuff in a folder. If you just have individual files, that's fine too. Whether it's a folder or a file, go ahead and click on what you need to download. And then you're going to go up to these three dots that say More Actions and click. From this list, you're going to go down to the bottom and choose Download. As you can see, a window popped up in the bottom corner of my screen that says Zipping Files. This window will only appear if you are actually downloading an entire folder. If you're just downloading individual files, this won't appear. Regardless of what you download, this box should pop up. Go ahead and make sure that the Save File is selected and then choose OK. As you can see up here, my download has begun. It's going to take about two minutes to download all of my folders. In the meantime, I'm going to show you one other trick. If these three buttons do not appear and you aren't sure how to get your file downloaded, you can always just right click on the either file or, or folder and that same menu will appear and you can choose download from that one. Right clicking if you're using a MacBook is just using your two fingers at one time on the trackpad. Once your file is finished downloading we need to get it to where you're going to save it on your computer. If you're using Firefox there's this arrow in the top right screen corner that will have all of your downloads. So you can click on that and then just click on the file that was just downloaded. That will open up your downloads folder. If you're not using Firefox and aren't sure where your downloads are, you can just go up to this top right corner to the search magnifying glass and click on that and type in downloads. Enter. That should open up your downloads folder as well. As you can see, my folder is right here, the Clarence project that I just downloaded. So I am going to save mine onto my desktop to find the easiest, but Ms. Utech may want you to save it in a different place on your school computers just to make sure that it's safe and sound. So to move it onto my desktop, I'm just going to click it and drag it over to my desktop and drop it there. That will give me all the folders all of the files that I need to use with iMovie. So you can exit out of your downloads once you have a move to where you're supposed to move them. You can exit out of your Firefox or your web browser and you are ready to start working with iMovie.